Hello. Hey friends, <laughs> welcome back to Harmony Vintage Insider. Uh, this is my lovely wife, Angie. I am Rick and we are Harmony Vintage. And what this is, is kind of a, we are documenting our businesses. Uh, yeah. A little over a year ago, I was still working for, uh, had a full-time job. Mm -hmm. uh, we started a small business. Uh, seven months ago, I left that full-time job and we are opening a small business together and we're just kind of documenting how it goes. Yeah. That yeah. If 51 weeks. 51 weeks. <laughs> 51 weeks. So yeah. there we are. Almost a year since uh, we first started. Right. And uh, it's starting to feel real. It's starting to feel like a business. It yeah. is starting. A lot of times it, it felt like this thing that was way out there, but now um, it's getting traction a little bit. I mean, we're far from there, but yeah, we we still we still have a long way yeah. to go. But it, it, it feels real now. <laughs> it and, does. Uh, I feel like grownups. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I used to when I, people would ask me what I do, and I would say I have a business. It felt like maybe I was exaggerating a little bit, <laughs> but. I was right working on it full time. So. You were, and you were doing a great job. You laid the foundation for this mm. whole thing to happen. So everything that happens from that point on, that's that's your credit. That's mm. you. Well, thank you. I've... So you've done tremendous. Tell me about your week. Wow, I can't believe it's only been one week. Since, since the last video? Yes, it feels like a month. <laughs> it does. Uh, Has it had some ups? It's had a lot of ups. Has More... it had some downs? Not really. Not really. Eh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> There's been some stress, but it's been good stress. So. It's been good. They're all mm -hmm. good problems to have, right? Yes. So tell me, what's what's been good? What what's happening? Well, on Saturday, Saturday, we had our best sales day ever by what? By substantial margin, almost double. Yes. And then what was it on Wednesday? Mm-hmm. On, well, yesterday, we broke that, like blew that record out of the water. So that was amazing. It's been amazing. <laughs> it's been crazy. The, so. the only downside to it is that both of our booths are kind of empty right now. And so we're trying really hard to fill them up. We're working frantically. <laughs> frantically, To yes. get them set up. <laughs> so it was kind of a funny story. Uh, we took Saturday off. It was one of our first days off, off mm -hmm. since we've been doing this. Mm -hmm. um, and we went to a wedding. And as we were going to the wedding, we were checking how our sales were doing throughout the day. And it was crazy. It was. It was crazy. <laughs> like yeah. I said, we more than doubled our last one. So we were on vacation. We took a day off and did better than we ever had before. I don't know what kind of testimony that is, actually. I know. <laughs> But uh, good for us, right? We were able oh. to enjoy ourselves oh, in our time yeah. away. It was yeah, beautiful. It was, it was awesome. Had a nice dinner, had mm -hmm. some morning strolls with coffee, walked around, mm -hmm. just had a beautiful time. Uh, and then Wednesday, yesterday, so we came back, we were frantic, we were trying to get things filled up, plugged in, get things going again, because if you sell it, you got to replace it. And we sold a lot, so we had a lot to replace. And then Wednesday came, and uh, we had a online order that was Huge. our biggest yes. <laughs> single order to date. <laughs> yeah. And then we had another good day at IOD in uh, in Fort Vintage Collins. Marketplace. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we sold a big piece of furniture at Sugar Mill, which was picked up this morning. So yeah, uh, we had our best day ever. Two days, in, well, twice in one week. Twice in one week, yes. So it, it's starting to feel real. We don't mean to brag, but it's starting to feel real, and we're kind of having, we have an adrenaline high, uh, endorphins are pumping, life is good. Yeah, I wouldn't say it was bragging. I think I feel like everyone who watches this show, now I'm probably going to cry, but you guys have been so supportive of us. and Now you're making me cry. And so, yeah, we wanted to tell you, like, good things are happening. Good we things we are appreciate happening. you guys so much. So. Yeah, yesterday, yes, and you may, I know I'm all misty. <laughs> it's a coffee break. Uh, it was uh, 
yesterday we were at uh, the sugar mill store and we were dropping some stuff off and trying to get things set up and we're getting ready to pull out and this horn honks at us <laughs> i don't know who it is i don't recognize the car so i'm like you stay here i'll go investigate <laughs> i went over and it was two of our friends and they were so yes. ecstatic to see us and they yes. said they were there strictly to help us just just to just yeah. to support us how kind is that like uh, well i think they were having a little girls day oh they were having a girls day de definitely yeah. which you know if you're going antiquing you should check out sugar mill and you should check check out vintage marketplace and that's what they were doing so. and that's what they were doing and uh it, but yeah. it was super special it was to bump into them there and to feel that love to feel that support yeah and i had like another cool thing I, to me, it was cool. Um, one of my friends um, kind of, she did her own project and used some of the ideas that I had used oh, shown before. Yeah, and that, yeah. that was awesome to me because honestly, I kind of hope that we do inspire people to I was going to say you inspired things. her. Yes. Yeah. And it was beautiful. Yeah, it, it was, was beautiful. So. Diane, well done. This, that bench was amazing. <laughs> yes. Uh, let's see. So, uh, Kind of the premise of the show is to document a hypothetical lovely couple <laughs> as they yeah. uh, as they kind of just start a small business and and then to kind of go through the stages of what's going on to show products mm -hmm. that are going into the booth a uh, booth at a uh, vintage marketplace and sugar mill mm -hmm. and to uh, demonstrate how we do and what we do so uh yes shall we let's get to it would you like to go <laughs> first um yeah sure i okay. will so you don't have the, to i will well as you know they just had the the new iod release and i promised to show show you some of those products as we oh, yes. use them so um so i did use one this week and i wanted to show you actually it's kind of hiding over here should i pull this over yeah so, so we got these little, um, they, they're, I guess they're little cup racks. Um, we got these and I decided to do them all a little bit differently. And so this one, um, hopefully you can see it on there. So if you'll, if you remember a few weeks ago, we did a dresser and it had a pretty flower transfer on it. That's, um, called Elysium and, uh, I had some little scrap pieces left over from that. And so I used them on, um, on this. So that was one thing I wanted to let you know that those transfer packets, um, you can use just parts of them and, and use them on multiple projects. And, and they're designed to do they I think, are. multiple projects because they're gridded and, and there's space yes. in between them all. So one package can get you depending multiple projects. Yes. Yes. I think almost always, but um, depending on how you use it, that one you could use all in one shot. But but this one, I had some extra pieces and I still have a few little pieces that'll probably find their way <laughs> on something. But, but one thing that I thought was super cool about this, because if you remember last week when I was showing the, the new products, um, one of my favorite new products is the, the ephemeral, what is it called? Ephemeral type um stamp and i i've had a feeling that was going to show up on like every project <laughs> and it's on this one i don't know if you'll be able to see it but um so the uh, elysium has these kind of little stamp elements and a little bit of um type on it and let me show you the um ephemeral type stamp just to refresh your memory um, it has all these pieces so I just filled in some of the background with those pieces. And so like this, this in the center, that's just one of the, the stamps that's in this set. And there are a couple others on there, but I thought it turned out pretty great. Oh my goodness. I, that was fantastic, dear. I'm really happy with how this one fantastic. turned out. Fantastic. How about this one? You want to do this one? Yeah. So, and then um, we had three of these, so I did them all a little differently. This one I didn't use the transfer. I just used the stamps. Um, this is the pastiche set. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I love it. It has the little bird cages and the little cloches. And I used all the little bird elements on there. And I thought it turned out pretty cute. 
Yeah, I thought you called it a cup hanger. I think just a hanger in general. Cups are an idea, but you could just yes, you, you could, could hang do. decor off it. You sure. could hang your jacket on there, your light jacket, whatever. But it's sure. it's just a nice little piece. It is nice. Yeah, I like these. Oh, and these are uh, they're nineteen ninety five. So nice. also and really good price. I this think. one here for the for the Alfred Hitchcock fan. <laughs> <laughs> we we were kind of joking because. Rick is not a bird lover, but most people are. So um, I do like to put a lot of birds on things because I love birds and a lot of people do. Um, so yes, this one has birds on it also. Uh, this stamp is has been retired, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it, but I use this one that's uh, called Birds and Branches. And it turned out very nice, kind of a, kind of a simpler, yeah. kind of a simpler look to it. Yeah, so I was happy with them. I think they turned out pretty great. I think they turned out pretty great. Now, you are very <laughs> happy about this piece. Yes, this piece too. So this was another one of our yard sale finds. Um, I'm pretty sure this was is a handmade table. Well, the guy told us. His dad made it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, isn't it neat? Oh, did I put that right in front of you? What a well, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> How's but that? it's so pretty. I just, I love the the details on it. Um, yes. And so Rick um, sanded and, and uh, stained the top for me. So it has a nice, it has a really pretty wood. Oh, the wood grain is beautiful. Gorgeous? It's mahogany. And, um, and then I just painted and distressed it back. And yeah, I think it's quite lovely. It is beautiful. Yeah. So yeah. What do you, when we, when we shop for these pieces, what are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for good bones. Um, I, it, I'd like it to be pretty a solid structure, but yeah, also to be be well made. So well made, structurally sound. Maybe have some finish problems that could be mm -hmm. uh, taken care of. Uh, you know, put some paint on it, stain it a new color, whatever. Mm -hmm. Kind of dress it up, but uh, yeah, because I watch. Um, you know, I like to watch the DIY videos. Mm -hmm. move that so they no, can that's see fine. You. That's no, fine. Then nobody's looking at me when you're on screen. <laughs> that's not true. But I, I do like to watch the DIY videos. And there is some value in it. Like I'll oftentimes see people use, um, you know, plastic things, maybe that they got at the dollar store or something they're recycling. And there is some value to that. But I basically, I feel like if I'm going to, spend my time on it I want it to be a quality piece when I finish. and if you're selling it you want the person who buys yes. it to get a quality yes, piece. yes that right? is another good point yes so we've been around furniture for a while and we mm -hmm. try to buy good stuff and, yeah. and make sure it's a value to the person buying it as well yeah that's where your expertise has been really well helpful. if you would slide this over I'm gonna bring over that other okay. table we have one more table one more table and this would be I, I don't know what is Angie's pick Oh, well, Angie's pick is, is this, which I already showed. Oh, okay. I love this so much. Well, I would keep that one. Oh, I don't know if I can get it all on there. Go ahead and, go ahead and do that. You want me to I'm angle gonna, it up for you? I'm going to angle it up for you. So this one we also found at a yard sale. And yeah, it just had some finish problems that needed a little, a little love. It's not old, but it is quality. It's a nice... Um, Nice quality piece. I don't know if you can see the detail, look how pretty these legs are. And then it has uh, has working drawers. We put new hardware on here. But I painted this one um, the aviary green. I distressed it back, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This is amazing. <laughs> I, I wish I, we'd done a before and after on this because you changed this piece, the world of this piece. Yeah. This is amazing. Well, it is. Uh, it, it is kind of interesting what what a finish, uh, like a bad finish, can really make a nice piece of furniture look really bad. <laughs> and that's, yeah. that's how this one was. And that was, uh, that was uh, it wasn't ugly, but it wasn't brilliant. It was, it, was, it was structurally sound, but the finish needed help. So you made that piece beautiful. Where's that going? Uh, that one's going to Vintage Marketplace. And the, the handmade one is going to? Sugar Mill. There you go. So these will be going in there tomorrow. Kind of mm -hmm. Insider, Harmony Vintage Insider, as you get mm -hmm. an idea as to what's going where tomorrow. Yes. And then uh, quickly, before we go, what's going on at 
Vintage Marketplace. So this weekend, Vintage Marketplace is having their uh, market and sale. I don't know if you remember last year, um, in the summer months, they have like a, an outdoor market. Um, the tents and yeah, probably. Once month, yeah, yeah, other vendors that, some vendors from Vintage Marketplace and some from outside come and um, set up a, a tent and um, it's kind of fun. It's kind of a fun atmosphere. You get to shop and, and talk to the vendors. And then um, inside the store, everything is on sale um, from 10% is the minimum to I think 50%. 50%. Yeah. So, so some good deals if you're For those shopping. of you that have been <laughs> friends for a long time, last year's outdoor market was where we had the dino ribs. Yes. You remember we posted the picture of Angie eating this <laughs> ginormous rib? Yes. That was 970 barbecue. Yes. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. <laughs> mm. uh, so that was phenomenal maybe they'll be there again i don't know i, I haven't heard who all is going to be there so. i'm going to show up hungry on a, <laughs> on a wing and a prayer nice <laughs> so um and then at sugar mill they are having cinnamon roll saturday yeah which i love a local sourdough cinnamon roll company Yum. i'm sorry i can't say the name i would butcher the name so bad you want to try it i didn't see it oh okay it, it's rough <laughs> but they're having sourdough cinnamon roll Saturday. So show up at 10 o'clock, mm. uh, get some fresh made uh, cinnamon rolls, take them home with you. Uh, they come in nice pans. Uh, they're amazing. Mm. And just shop small business, right? Shop local, shop small. Yeah. Uh, this was prime week, kind of, kind of, kind of kicked a lot of people. Yeah. Uh, so we want to support uh, the, the, the small businesses mm -hmm. and we want to shop local for sure. Uh, one of my favorite small businesses is Dispose Bros, <laughs> Clifford and Dallin. Uh, they run a Holloway business and they will be glad to uh, at, answer your questions, take your phone calls, uh, get you a quote on what it would be to haul your stuff away. And then they donate or recycle 50% and they have a five-star Google rating. Nice. And good guys. Really good guys. Yeah. Like these guys are quality guys, guys mm -hmm. you'd want in your corner. Yeah. In your band of brothers, Clifford and Dallin. <laughs> so mm. there you go. Uh, anything else? I don't think so. Next I, week yeah. is 52. I know. Our one year anniversary mm -hmm. of doing these videos. Yeah. I'm just feeling very thankful this week. Are you? I'm sure I will be next week too, but it's been a phenomenal week. Gratitude is really good place mm -hmm. to be right yeah. it's hard to it's hard to get knocked too off course when you're being grateful for everything that you've been blessed with so yeah uh to all our friends to uh michelle mm -hmm. and uh diane diane <laughs> and to everybody that has yeah. been so gracious to us yeah. uh we we sure appreciate it it's uh, it's been quite a ride so far like i said it's starting to feel real uh you guys that comment I uh, appreciate Carrie. You're so sweet. Kevin, mm -hmm. you're so sweet. Leah, you're so sweet. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you think. Let us know what's going on. If we can do things better, uh, by yep. all means, let us know. Yep. Uh, we appreciate the feedback. And uh, we love you guys. Have Are a good ready? week. Yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> we still haven't figured that part I out. I do this false close thing and Angie gets ready to go <laughs> and, then I, and then I reel back up again. <laughs> I hate it when other people do it, but I do it myself. Mm. See you. Love you. Bye. Bye.